All right, you guys, we are back for another guide video of Knighthood Boss Belgius, Hard and Normal, in that order. As you can see, this is the team I'm going with, uh, artifact sets, just must, as much HP as possible. I just sorted by auto set by HP. Um, as you can see, we're going with the unknown and fairy type build. For Ram, I have HP defense with C rank pieces on top. Same thing for Merlin, HP defense, C rank on top. For Relic, you may have to turn it off if you're doing too much damage. You just have to play around and see. Um, for King, keeping his gear normal. Just his normal HP defense gear or HP crit damage. Or, I guess if you absolutely needed to, if you had a 1-6 King with new, like bad gear, maybe attack crit. But, uh, as you can see, HP defense for Lat with C rank, or Elaine with C rank pieces on top. As you can see, we have HP food. With that, let's go ahead and hop in. Now, you can't do too many king attacks here. So, well, I'm always going to start off by wasting these cards. Target the middle guy for the single target so you don't do too much extra damage. Uh, this card here for Merlin is completely useless. And as you can see, nobody there... Uh, now there are the two side guys we're using ranked up skills, so there's no sense in doing a D-rank skill. Okay, it's not horrible card draw. Okay, we got guys on both sides using uh, ranked up skills. So, we're actually going to do this a little different. We're going to use Merlin's D-Rank AoE. We're going to toss this, move a king card, and use a king card. Alright, there's a little extra points from D-Ranking everything. Hopefully, we're not going to do too much damage. Okay, I think we can get away with another king card next turn. And we did get the stance removable, stance removal from uh, Ram, so that's very good. So here, I'm gonna merge these, derank him real quick. I believe I'm just gonna toss. That Merlin for right now. Okay. We're going to target this guy over here on the left for no reason at all. And uh, just throw that card out. It's not going to do anything. We're going to remove his stance. And ult with kink. And then I guess we'll just toss this ram card to get her ult. Alright, there's the stance removed. The ult. We're getting lots of points for cleanse and buff removal. And damage caps. So, beautiful. Let's see here. If he has a skill we can derank, we'll derank it with a lane. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll use the level 2 king card for extra damage and maybe a damage cap. And we'll finish him off with the ults. And there's the level 2 mission for using it four times. Whatever that count helps for. Damage cap and damage cap beautiful so there you go for hard not a bad score three K's about where you want to be or real close to it 
So, good run there. Uh, like I said, you can use any variation of unknown farrier giants to get there. Just Festival King is kind of unnecessary, though. Okay, hopping in for normal. We're going to run the exact same team with the exact same equipment, artifacts, and food. And, and it's basically just going to be a repeat of hard, except you really can't use king cards. Because they will melt those side guys. You can get away with maybe using one. As you can see, they do no damage to you, so you really don't even need a king shield. The attack seal doesn't even land. Okay, we do have some skills to derank. So we will use Merlin. We'll toss that at the middle guy to make some space. We'll merge king and then... Let's move king one more time, I think. Yeah. Okay. The more debuffs he has land, the better, because we'll get more points from King's ult that way. So here we'll do this. We have no skills to derank. I think I can get away with a level 2 King, so I'm going to try it. We'll just move this Ram card, I believe. Yeah. Please don't kill. Okay, beautiful. They hit damage caps on both of them. Alright. We got stance removal. We got king go. We're looking very good here. Uh, I guess I'll just toss this, even though it's not going to derank any skills. Lots of points here for buff and debuff removal. And wow, they're hitting hard. <sighs> kind of wish we had a way to get Merlin's ult that turn, that way we could have killed right here. But it's okay. He does have some skills that we can derank, so we'll do that, we'll do that, and then we'll do that for right now. If we could have killed right here with another ult, that would have been perfect, but we just didn't draw the cards to do so. Or maybe this will kill? No. Close. But. Anyways, maybe we can derank a skill right here and then ult with Merlin. Nope. So we'll just ult with Merlin and then toss these cards for some extra points for using level 2s. And let's see your score. 1,500. Not bad at all. So there you go, you guys. Uh, it's right where you want to score at for normal. But like I said, this is uh, my least favorite guild boss of all. So let's have